what you've got to look at really is the progress that they made out of London. Started off as a service area on the motorway, caused a lot of damage there. Birmingham city centre, they rampage through there. This is hours before the match. Uh, then when they get to uh, West Bromwich itself and to Smedic, where a lot of them arrive, they immediately start causing damage again. Uh, nothing at all to do with the football. So, as magistrates, police and clubs hold yet another inquest into what can be done, Millwall fans run off for the train home they should have taken yesterday. Hundreds of pounds poorer, but not, it seems, much wiser. The division lead is Oxford against Kevin Keegan's Newcastle, probably the most intriguing of them all. Last night, six Midlands teams progressed into the third round, none of them more dramatically than West Bromwich Albion, who started their game with Millwall 3 0 down from the first leg. Albion were on the attack from the word go, and Perry was desperately close to scoring in the opening minutes. Seconds later, Albion were beaten again by Millwall keeper Peter Wells, who saved brilliantly from Thompson. But the third division team nearly struck themselves when a long clearance caused a mix up in the Albion defence, and Bremner was clearly held down by McNaught. The Albion defence was nearly caught out again with an acrobatic scissor kick from Dean White. Then two minutes before half time came the first goal. The free kick was only half clear and Owen chipped the ball back in for Thompson to thunder home. In the opening minutes of the second half, Albion got their second. Cows will cross for Sil Regis to head home perfectly. Pressure was beginning to tell on Millwall, and Thompson won a penalty when he was clearly pulled down by Cusack. From the kick, Gary Owen sent well as two on the way. Millwall's hopes of a cup upset were fading fast and disappeared altogether when Gary Thompson ran onto this cross from Owen to head the fourth goal. And he nearly got a hat trick, but Wells pulled off another fine save. But there was no way of stopping the fifth Albion goal. What a beauty it was. We just the scorer.